put, you bring the baby on its back, tilt the nose up to a sniffing position, put your mouth over the nose and the mouth because they're nose breathers. You have to breathe into their nose. And you do little puffs. Kind of like with uh, infant CPR. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you just, yeah. But no, it's just not popular. Really. It's what you got in your cheeks. Mm -hmm. And then you could be watching for chest movement mm -hmm. because if you if you don't have the head at the right angle, then you're not mm -hmm. going to get air in. Or if you're not giving a large enough puff, mm -hmm. then you, you want to be able to see the, the chest rising. So somebody else giving feedback is valuable and so, to say, I don't see the chest rise, or oh, that one moved the chest. And if, and the babies will, newborns are very, very resilient. And they, they'll they respond really well to a resuscitation in most cases. And about five of those rescue breaths where you're going, wait, so that they have time to exhale. By this time the baby's probably fighting you. We hope mm -hmm. the baby's fighting you, but they're usually almost always breathing and crying on their own by this time. Well, show them what they do if, they, if there's junk in their nose. You can, if, if you can tell there's a lot of stuff. See, the body's designed to take, to, to address that. So when the baby's coming through the birth canal, it's being very squished, then that's when you see lots of fluid and mucus coming out of their mouth because it's literally uh, uh, mechanically being pushed out. Mm -hmm. um, and then when they come out and they take a breath, then the air pressure pushes the rest of the fluid down into the lymph system and then the body processes the, the fluid that way. Um, so you don't need to suction babies. Well, this it's really it's very like unusual that you actually need to. I, did, I had one baby that had really thick mucus uh, in the trachea and so I did end up having to, to suction with a Dele where it's a little tube to get that out. Yeah. But that was evidenced by the fact that she, w she wasn't getting pink. Um, she was staying a uh, bluish color, mm -hmm. and you could hear the <laughs> And so, but in most cases, you don't. Just like everything else that we've been conveying to you, nature has it taken care of, and it, it can take care of itself. And Flexion so, sometimes bulb, sir bulb syringes so are worse than problem. useless, yeah. honestly, for the most part. Can you just demonstrate postural drainage since we're yeah. on this topic? Yeah. So, but if you can tell that there, if there's a lot of fluid and you can hear it, and, and it seems to be affecting the baby. Then you take the baby like this, okay? Remembering that it's still attached. <laughs> with the legs, legs like this on the arm, and then hold the back, and uh, that's how you turn the baby like uh, onto its tummy. And then you just do a, a really fast letter pat, uh, pat to get the, to help uh, vibrate the lungs, to help move it out. I mean, you don't even necessarily need to do that. You could just, just holding the baby like this, <coughs> you know, causing the drainage with the gravity, and then you could turn the baby around and and blow some more. And sometimes all you have to do is threaten the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ca I carry. We all, as midwives, we carry ambu bags that are so we don't have to use our mouths, right? Yeah. So it's a it's a little thing. And all I have to usually say is to my assistant, "Give me that ambu bag." And the baby will go, "Okay, okay, I'll breathe." <laughs> <laughs> so if you just start, you know, turn them upside down, makes them furious, and they'll usually. <laughs> like the mom talking to the baby. Please yes. Start breathing. That's yes. Really important. Yep. Yeah, I'll say that too. I'll be giving baby pops. Yeah. I'll be like, "Mom and dad talk to baby. Tell yeah. baby to start breathing." You know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so do you do you put your mouth all the way? Make over a the nose seal over the yes, mouth. you want to seal it over. Do we want to demonstrate that, or is that not something? I, I'm like... the one that's had my mouth on that. Video. So you go ahead, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, also Ace has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ace has to go. <laughs> Ace had to go. <laughs> Probably my grandkids had their mouth. Here's the mom. She's holding her baby right, and I got the head tilting just like she said. Mom, you breathe. And the mother can be talking to her baby. The father can talk to his baby. I'm the cord and saying heartbeat is about 80 beats per minute. When you've done this a long time, you can tell. 80 beats per minute. You can tell if it's going going up or going down. As soon as you get one good breath in there, almost always you're going to feel that heart rate coming come up. Right? So you're yeah. feeling as she's doing that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I could do it myself, and but I'm man, what a pain. I'd rather have her. So I'm feeling the cord and I'm saying, um, the chest didn't expand on that, that blow. Okay, so I'm going to readjust the head. 
Okay, and, there we go. Test and simultaneously, the parents, you could be encouraging the parents to say, we love you, welcome, baby. And they could say the baby's name. The father is really powerful at this point. I'll usually have the father's head right down by the baby, talking to the baby. Babies will respond to their father's voices very well. I've seen, I've seen almost miraculous stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Because they hear, they hear the kind of